Good morning, tarot fam. So we're going to do a little mystery tarot theater. So this is like my celebrity blind item, but this one's not a celebrity. So we're going to be working with a little bit of a timeline here. So there's an individual, let's just call her Maria. So we're going to have this individual who is not a celebrity. Um, and we're just going to see what she was doing at certain times in the past. So uh, September of 2020, let's take a little journey back. We're going to go to September 2020 and we're going to see what was going on with this person. Um, in fact, we're going to go a little bit further into the past. We're going to go to July of 2020 and just see what was happening in this person's life. So I'm going to bring up the card view. Again, we're going to call her Maria. So let's bring up the card view. As always, I hope you're having a great day. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And also you'll notice there's a join button. So I do have memberships. I'm going to be adding to those. Um, I just want to make sure that I can give you the deliverables uh, once I set up the different levels. Right now, um, we have the first level, which is very inexpensive. And um, that is going to give you some special emojis, some, some fun stuff, and you get uh, prioritized commenting, which is really cool. I love that. And then in the second level, we're going to open that up to all of those perks. You're going to get a few more, including members only live. So I may be doing my live tarot for you by membership only moving forward. So I know it's kind of a bummer for some people, but <laughs> um, it's just going to be a lot easier for me to be able to manage that. So um, we will see. You're also going to get early access to videos like this one. This one's going to be members only first, and then it'll be released to you guys a little bit, uh, non-members a little bit later. So we're, we're trying some different things out. So let's see what Maria Maria was doing in July of 2020. So I'm going to bring up this card view nice and big for you guys. And let's get started. And as always, when I do heavy duty stuff, I bring out my Ellen Cannon Reed deck, my most expensive deck in the building. So what was Maria doing in July of 2020? Specifically, I am looking for possible contracts. Eight of Pentacles, not working out of work. What crosses her is that Eight of Wands, something very serious coming down. Underneath the surface, we have the Nine of Swords. Now, the Ellen Cannon Reed Nine of Swords is a little bit different. This is kind of the energy before a duel, before uh, when you're on the starting block, ready to dive in for a uh, swimming competition. In the past, Six of Wands, not very successful. Things are not going well for this person. And also she's not making some good choices. She is, however, in a good, in a good place emotionally and uh, is a good parent. The queen of cups is always a good parent down here. Uh, death. She's having trouble getting out of her situation. Others see her as someone who is fully in control of their faculty. So she is putting up a good front to others. And the fear is that she's not going to be able to provide for the children that she has or the family that she has. This goes with that Queen of Cups. Here, what is happening? The ultimate outcome, Queen of Cups, but not a new start. Um, remember when I get the aces, this is new opportunities are open. We're allowed to see them. This again is July for this particular individual. Let's go right on top and we're going to fast forward to September of 2020. What was going on with her in September of 2020? Um, not looking so happy about the future. Uh, parting from someone behind her, again, leaving something in the past. Underneath the surface, all full of love, just wants to be a mom. 
up top is once again alone in the immediate future. The hangman not learning from lessons. Justice is on her. The empress in reverse. Oh, hang on, boys and girls. We're talking about September, okay? So what I'm seeing is that there's a, a hopeless future, a door closed here, and there's a hopeless future with a parting with someone. This is in September of 2020. Just keep track, okay, guys? Under the surface, we have this Princess of Cups, really wants to be a good mom. Up here is a single mom. So we've got a single mom situation, not learning from the situation in the past. She is not really um, on her feet. I get super, super mother vibes from this. Loves being a mom, loves being pregnant, loves doing all those good things, um, but isn't really positioned well for that. Down here, she's got some uh, some judgments and things that are pending on her. And I, what I mean by this, like actual judgments, uh, courtroom judgments, that kind of thing, has some money issues. I'm not seeing a lot of pentacles in here. Um, just a few scattered here and there. This pentacle, again, the uh, five of pentacles is not really accessible. Her pentacles are kind of scattering. They're very, very chaotic. Um, this is, it, it, we get the five of pentacles. It's sometimes someone who is very bad at managing their wealth. This, how others see her, is very judgmental that she is not a good mother because she's not providing excessively for her individuals. Here, the uh, the fear is that she's not going to be able to get back to the working world. So let's clean up our real estate here. And let's see how she was doing in January of 2021. Uh, correction. Um, let me take a look. February of 2021. There was an announcement, and I wonder how this individual felt about an announcement. February 2021. How did she feel about it? Two of Swords, a little... Ah, she was the one who was actually doing things. Nine of Cups. This is when it sunk in that she had made a not so great decision. Um, Eight of Pentacles working hard on what she's doing, but no joy underneath. Definitely a bit of depression here, a bit of sadness. Um, but seeing the two directions that she and someone else were possibly going. Um, but taking care that she is the one that is performing this alchemy and making things happen up here, hard at work at it, really doing her very best, but very disappointed in what's happening, not really feeling lucky, feeling um, the pangs of sorrow because, and that, that's reflected here as well with this three of cups in reverse, the pangs of sorrow because she is getting pentacles for her work. Here we have the eight of swords, which is I'm stuck in this situation. I really have to uh, kind of steal myself for this. Basically seeing someone making announcements about the work she is doing. So let's go. Let's jump ahead to, that was February. Let's jump ahead to May. Let's see how things were going in May. And we're just going to do a straight line on this one. In May, she is second guessing the job she's undertaking seems like it all may have been too much for of pentacles. There is a house situation here. So these two, when we get this 10 of pentacles and the four of pentacles, we're talking about getting into a housing situation here. 
The two of wands under wraps were definitely hidden. Um, our efforts are hidden. The efforts are hidden here. So this is somebody who got tucked away for a little bit. And then we have that queen of swords, not very happy about it, very upset about it. And again, three of cups in reverse and this 10 of swords in reverse. So not only is she outwardly upset at this point, but um, she's trying to voice it and she's not being heard. Let's go to June. What happens in June? What happens in June? Poor Maria. What was Maria doing in June? Queen of Wands. She is producing her work. Three of Swords going through the threshold of pain. In the Ellen Cannon read, this is about learning from that experience. Sometimes we learn well from that experience. Sometimes we don't. Under the surface, we have Nine of Wands feeling very exposed, very vulnerable, not well protected. What is in her past? The past is in her son. Uh, past. In her past is the sun. Her happiness is in the past. That's that suitcase position I talk about all the time. This She has to go back there and collect that. Up top, the king of pentacles, the deal struck was not met. Deal, the king of pentacles is in reverse. This also could be the money that she received was immediately paid out. What's in the future? Ace of pentacles, the deal struck is not going to be met. How does she see herself? Oh, this is in June, guys, June of 2021, reminding you. Um, nine of pentacles she is producing. How do others see her? Others see her as combative rude, nasty pants, not a nice person. Here, hopes and fears, she wanted to retain that project, but she did not, unfortunately. That four of pentacles, we let our project go. And then our final one, king of cups, this is her final outcome. So we have this ace of pentacles, but then we have this king of cups. So I think there was some transition period that we're talking about here. So was there a transition period? Was there a transition period, say from June to July? Did we have a transition period? The moon, very, very hidden. Seven of wands, but not hidden that well. Please see my remote view videos. I think June to July, we were hidden away and then we were left alone. Four of cups in reverse again, queen of wands. Did this person obtain some kind of counsel? Seven of swords, yes. I don't think that they could do very much for her, though. Um, let's see a little bit more. Maybe they did. Ace of Wands. At the time in July, there wasn't a lot that they could do. Strength card. We're just going to cover her up for decency purposes. Um, not a lot of patience. King of Cups here. So we're going to have to look at that a little bit differently. So I do think that there was a transition period. Transition period. What is the situation now? We're talking 8, 7, 2024. That's approximately three years ago, guys. 2021 to now. What could it be? What could it be? Who could this be? Make your guesses in the in the comments. Remember, I am calling her Maria and I'm doing a sloppy shuffle. What is Maria doing right now? What is going on with Maria right now? We're looking for twos here, guys. We want to see twos. Twos will tell us something. The Wheel of Fortune, not in a good spot. Not in a good spot. Crossing her is that Four of Pentacles. Secret keeping. 
three of pentacles, uh, three of uh, cups under the surface. So the, the mood is improved. There's our two. There's our two in reverse. This is going back into the past and letting things go. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, now she is the emperor. Now she is leading her pack a little bit more. What is our final outcome here? King of Swords. So I think if there is some kind of a deal, I think she is going to walk away. I think she is not going to be a part of that. Queen of Cups, she, I think she thinks she's doing the right thing. Others see her as a uh, flight risk. <laughs> not really a flight risk, but a, um, a blab risk. Let's put it that way. We've got the seeker hopes and fears. The fear is that she is going to be on her own without any decent counsel. And then the six of cups in reverse is looking back with some regret. So I do think we have some regret. So are we ever going to find out about this person? Is this person ever going to be revealed? That's actually, we'll go to Le Normand. And for those of you that find Le Normand very curious, actually we'll use this deck. I do have my course discounted for the remainder of the month. You can sign up for that register at the link in the description of this video where my cards was upside down. Was it? Yes. The whip and the clover were upside down. So we're going to do like a little nine card spread just on Maria right now. Right now, Maria. You don't want to warn Maria? Are you laying that sword down? Le Normand, we bring all upright. Clover, she has momentary luck. The whip, she has been browbeaten, but now she is isolated from the terror and moving on. Oh, the child is in the book, but that information will come out. There was money that exchanged hands in the past, and that was good for a moment. Um, but we're going to get information going out to the public soon. So we've got the whip, tower, ship, child, clover, book, fish, heart, garden. Okay. Um, the underlying factors, this isolation and secret keeping is going to come out. We're going to hear that. Uh, the child was in the best interest here. The whip, the abuse, I know we're not supposed to say that on YouTube, but the uh, repeated not nicety was, is in the past. Um, and this was something that she can bring to the public in that garden card. So uh, not, not being nice again, uh, isolated her and had her move on. This is a concern of hers. The concern is also with this child that we have here in the past, the new beginning. Um, I think we are going to hear some information about this. I think there's a loophole in the uh, non-disclosure agreement. If there is one, I think we do have a loophole there. And I think we're going to find out who this individual is in the future. So I would like you all to give your best guess who this Maria is. And we will see in the near future if we get more information about this. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe or join. Be a member over here. I will see you all soon.